Hello, I'm Freelander. Welcome to the Game Trove. Today we are checking out Army of Tactics and Army of Fortune. Army of Tactics is in closed beta, so at this point in time there are no access codes to it. It is a intricate, fast, cadence, auto-battler, uh, kind of auto-chess type game. Army of Fortune is going to be a real-time strategy game on the on the mobile that which brings me to accessibility it they say it's a new type of strategy game so i'm very curious to learn more about that there's not that much information on it but as far as army of tactics which you see playing over here uh accessibility the release stage is i put it six uh, it's closed beta, and so we are going on from there. Platform is mobile, uh, multiplayer 8, 1v1, monetization gate at an 8, so really good in that uh, everything's free to play. Uh, they do have a token you can purchase on the free market right now that should affect the game later uh, be able to buy NFTs and that and be able to uh, level up faster, which is why it's not a uh, 10. Uh, graphics are an 8. Uh, overall, it's a top-down 3D, kind of cartoonish, really good looking, uh, not, you know, not like Unreal Engine 5, amazing totally realistic but really good i really like the feel of it i might have put it down a little bit more but i really like the feel of it so really good in it overall uh, uh world i put it as a six just because we don't know that much about it they are planning a metaverse so that should be fleshed out a lot of these i put down pretty far just because they're not there yet uh gameplay Difficulty 8, because top level, it'd be really, really competitive at a 9. Casual, if you just want to be casual, that ends at a certain point. If you get enough trophies, and then you're just bouncing up and down, win some, lose some uh, with this type of game. So that's an 8. Learning curve is 8. Apparently, a lot of people have trouble with like the tactics of how to do it. Like I said, it's an auto battler where you take you have best out of five rounds or win three. Core game loops eight. Initial fun ten. I think this is exquisite personally because it feels like a real time strategy, but it's because you have time constraints in setting up your thing. You have rock, paper, scissor effects with uh, AOE and that sort of thing. And as your time counter goes down, you have more and more, uh, or less and less hit points for your units. So getting your units out quickly has an advantage, but then they can counter them with their rock, paper, scissor effect. So it's a really nice balanced cadence with uh, also with your amount of energy you can spend each round uh, going up and down it, having to conserve energy for later if you think you're going to win or you take a loss to conserve energy fool your opponent into using all their energy when one round and you're not using that much repellability eight like i said this tournament style thing eventually it can get a little old losing most of your matches or losing half of your matches and not really going anywhere that being said uh I, it really nice uh uniqueness i put it a nine just because uh maybe i just haven't played that many auto battlers i paid a few but this seems like really really good in my opinion ui is okay it's at an eight in game economy seven you basically just get coins spend those coins on the nfts not all that intricate is why i put it down low uh, tokenomics, we don't know much. Their token did just go live on mainnet. 
Uh, none of this is financial advice. I don't know the tokenomics. There's not information enough information for me to gather at this point in time. I do believe that in-game currency you can see at the top. Um, sometimes when I'm in the menu, here is the actual token uh, that at least beta testers will be earning next week. Uh, I don't think there's a way for you to currently join that beta right now. I might just be able to slip in because I was beta testing on this round and the third round they're actually going to be giving out tokens for. So I might be able to slip into that. I barely meet the some of the criteria. So, all right. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about the game economy because... The, it's still so early. Uh, investment stage cycle is early hype. Uh, not that much marketing done. One of the reasons why I'm so uh, into this game right now uh, is they are the team is from Clash of Clans, uh, Supercell. They are the founders of Supercell. At least that's what they say. And I believe them because of the intricacy of this game and the quality thereof. Like I said, they're planning on more games, rolling out uh, five games within two to five years. Game quality overall is eight, if I didn't say that already. And market network effects, they are gaining tons and tons of followers. I just happened to on a post on Twitter. I think they might have been advertising. Potential income, not sure at this point. I think the team will do very well. I think the investors will do well. Uh, market viability, I put it in eight. I think they, uh, they're well on their way to bringing this to market. And their second game is supposed to launch in quarter three of this year, so pretty soon as well. Yeah, uh, just wanted to bring this to your attention, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.